Bring it back home. Bring it back. I was I forgot what button to push. That'll work. That'll work. 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 Mm. Yeah, chop chop. chop chop. What up, man? I ain't saying anything like uh, I, I ain't saying anything like a month of Sundays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what yeah a month say? of Sundays. What they say? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, but it's pretty much. It's been a few weeks. I was like, man. The first week I was in Gatlinburg, and yeah. then uh, the next two weeks, one of them I worked, and then last week I forgot what happened. Something yeah, been we were doing something. I've been working on Sunday some. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I did it one yeah. day. I picked up, picked up for a guy. I was like, "Man, I ain't doing this again." I did like ninety-eight hours straight. Mm, Sunday all the way through Wednesday mm -hmm. mm. to Thursday morning. Mm. And then got off late Thursday to morning, Thursday. but then I got my paycheck, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> going to the casino." <laughs> <laughs> we did go to the casino. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah, it was. Oh, we gonna get up there one of these times. She Rebecca won like four thousand in the first hour we were there. Oh, for real? Yeah, killing it. Yeah, killing it. I That's hit him. Dope. I hit him for about fourteen. Yeah, fourteen hundred. Yeah. Nice. See, I made out good. Well, I spent, it don't always be like that though, huh? Spent a little bit. Yeah. We had at uh, Gordon Ramsay has a restaurant there. Did y'all get some Ferrari? Mm -mm. No Ferrari. I was drinking some other stuff that it was just as expensive. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> we got our we got our bill, and Rebecca goes, "I wouldn't have ordered so many drinks if I'd known they was twenty five dollars a piece." I was yeah. just like, "That's why I didn't drink no more. Yeah. Drink the one. Drink that one." We uh we uh we've done that, but we wasn't getting the drinks. We went down there and just bought a bottle. You know, yeah. And then you just sit there and drink the bottle. Bottle drinking. Bottle drinking. <laughs> it's actually better that way. You stay on the same consistency of drink. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. sometimes you tend to get wild doing all them different drinks. Yeah. Well, I was drinking. <clears throat> yeah, it's fun sometimes. Yeah, I just wanted water. Yeah, like, I just want water. Gotta get that. Gotta stay hydrated. Matter of fact, look at that. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Gotta get your water. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. That's why we're blued out in here today. So hydration reminder: summer is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. We're trying to look out. Y'all need to stay hydrated. <laughs> Speaking of water, I seen this video. This dude goes, "Man, they asked me how many oceans they are. I told them one." Well, essentially, he's and right. And he was like, <laughs> "You can't tell me that different bodies of waters don't have different names in different areas, but." They all touch each other. It's yeah. one ocean. It's one big waterway. And I yeah. was like, he's right. That's true. <laughs> the continents are separated. Some of them are, we're all connected to the rock underneath. But, mm. you know. Yeah, I uh, know about that. Oh, yeah, man. That fingerprints of the gods is like crazy. It starts off with like all about the maps and this, you know, and then he starts building back, 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 all the way to the, uh, um, the Olmecs mm -hmm. and then uh, the Incas, you know, uh, Aztecs, Mayans, you know what I mean? All of that stuff, right? And mm -hmm. all the different stories. And but anyway, man, it's, uh, it's really cool. It goes way back. And uh, talking about different things, being connected in the landscape, being different. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Like at the planet, like at different points in time. And it's like, dude, there's like different perspectives of like the same cataclysm you know what i'm you know what i'm saying like uh you know it was a flood yeah well like and then noah built the ark well some of them story like uh uh the, they were sent up into a high mountain you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. a mountain so high that just the peak stayed out of the water and then another one's like a tree there's like an old tree that's old and had to go up the tree all the way up the tree but it was a flood you know what I mean? They came and, like, take the seeds and the animals and all this. 
And uh, it's just wild, man, to see how much that has repeated itself in our human history yeah. and how far back, like, now that we keep finding things, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we have more time to look at it, research it. Like, the, they're thinking, man, that, well, to these people, like, with this, and I'm like, it's probably more plausible that this is the most true thing, that... There were there was a civilization of us at one point in time that was, uh, <clears throat> you know, like pretty technologically advanced. I don't know if it was like this, yeah. like electronics, but they were like advanced and mapping the globe and doing all these things. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they would go around because all these different places talk about a bearded white guy, bearded Caucasian, like all these different stories like came from like across the sea and came here at different times, like 2,000, 4,000 years apart, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's, it's a, was it a white guy or was it like a white image? Well, they don't know because like all we have to go glowing. off is like statues yeah. and like, you know, picture yeah. type stuff, you feel me? That they've what what they drew? Descriptions, yeah. yeah, that they give. And all well, of some that. Some people, no matter if you're, except for... Well, I mean, even some. Well, I don't think Asian, it matters. You know what I mean? Even like, some Asians, you could be like, we yeah. all kind of look the same. Yeah, you know, down the road. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not worried like about that. I was just saying the, the. It's weird that it over and over it like portrays like there's a bunch of them that portray the same. They say the same image though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that they were like very good at the uh, sea. You know what I mean? At the waters and everything. Water, when you'd have to be to be able people. to map. Yeah, you'd have to you'd have to be to be able to map the planet. Yeah. You know, you got to travel around. And then they got this stuff down in uh, where is it? Uh, it's one of them places, man. People be talking about and going like South America, Peru. I think Peru's down there, South America. Mm -hmm. All right, like Peru, it's around there. Um, there is man. What part of the story was I at? Uh, talking about uh, South America. I was about <laughs> oh man, Peru. But right before that, what was I saying? Mapping the world. Oh yeah, mapping the world. Uh, dang, I don't even remember, man. Lost it. But Water man, people. the fingerprints of the gods. Uh, book is just like so full of stuff. Like my brain is still like wrapping my head around. It. Like he takes it all the way back from. You know what I mean? With those maps and then keeps walking it back all the way and then taking, okay, the information about this, this, they call it an epoch, uh, epoch or epoch. That means like basically like we were here doing so well for 4,000 years and then something happened and then it happened. We, you know, civilization yeah. go, gets going again for 5,000, 10,000 years, whatever, and then something happens. And it's like been happening throughout like, for as long as we can look back, like a hundred thousand years, mm -hmm. and the most recent one was about twelve thousand years ago, and with the uh, flood, and it's like it's in all these ancient texts. It's like it's wild, you know. And like I mean, like places that are totally separated, like Egypt and South America. Mm -hmm. That's two totally different places. Yeah. And oh, what I was gonna say about Peru was, uh, there's these lines. Like it's like the driest place where this is at. So mm -hmm. I might be wrong about exactly in Peru, but somewhere around there, if I remember correctly. But it's like the driest area in the on the planet. Mm -hmm. So like basically, you know, most places on the planet, you know, things are happening with water and air and all that. So if you do something they get weathered easy, there would be the least weathered. Weathered, yeah. So They've got these gigantic lines that are scraped. Like you see them, they're like hills. I don't know if they're, I think they're mounds or they're scraped in. I think they're indentions. But either way, uh, you just see them and, you know, just standing there, you don't know what it is. It yeah. just looks like lines kind of, you don't even know where they go. And you have to get up in the air and fly over it. And, dude, it's like these giant lines and it's like uh, there's this spider that they have shaped out of it. You know what I mean, and that spider like is like from comes from some other part of the the world, and it's got it like mapped out like birth organs and all this different stuff and these lines, and it's got all these different animals 
like depicted in these lines. Like you'd have to be either a giant, you know what I mean, so mm. you could stand up real tall and be seeing over it to see what it is, or be able to fly over it. And these are from way, way back in time. Mm. So it's like, how do you explain stuff like that? You know what I'm saying? It's like, so it's really cool the way he breaks it down. And then he'll talk about these different epochs. And then he'll go, okay, this is what we know from this one. They were saying this. This one, they were saying this. And kind of like, he, but he does both. He'll put them together and he'll say what doesn't matter and things that you can kind of, yeah. you know, kind of throw to the side or do what you will with. And then other things that seem more like, like, they're not just coincidences. No. You feel me? There's no way as human beings it's just coincidence after coincidence after coincidence over that long a time. It just don't make sense. I mean, it's even like now. And the Bible even said it in there. It said in those times there were giants. Yeah. You know, that walked the land. So it's like... And that was all being written a thousand years after it actually happened. Mm-hmm. You know, from when it, like, first, you know, like, after, you know, the story of Christ, you know, it's like, after that. I mean, I mean, even if you look back to when, even if you go back 30 years, or, or I mean, you go back 40 years. Yeah. When we grew up, man, there, you know, you might have had one kid that was six three, six four, you know. Now the whole freaking high school is full of them. Yeah, of fifteen year olds that are six five, but their parents are only like five eight. Oh yeah, you man! Know, it's like it's like that's a grown man over there. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's got a full beard and everything. Like this is this is not a child. <laughs> like this is a freaking. No doubt. That's what I'm saying. Is Thirteen and years old, six it's five, like, with full beard. It's like he says on there, too, it's like if you think about it, too, like with all these different changes, like, you know, the earth being struck by a comet, a volcano, massive volcano eruptions, Mm -hmm. you know, the uh, flooding that probably happened after like an ice age, all of a sudden something happened and then boom, it caused the the planet to heat up rapidly, you feel Mm -hmm. me, like over a thousand years. That's rapidly for a planet to heat up over a thousand years, you know, and... uh, it would change the actual earth. You know what I mean? Like, as we see it now, how the woods look and all that stuff could be totally different. Like, they could the animals would might be a little different, look yeah. a little different, you know, at different times. Same thing with us mm-hmm. as people. And if you think about what they're saying, that he's trying, they think that there was some ancient civilization that was got very advanced. Something catastrophic happened, and they've tried to continue passing it on and spreading it around the world you know what mm-hmm. i mean and uh so it seems like more like a, there's a divine hand at help uh but it makes you think too like i've talked about before like if something catastrophic happened now and then we survived well we don't know how to make any of this stuff well think about it i was like take it a little step further than that we, you know, not me and you, obviously, but, you know, with whatever women there are, you know what I'm saying? We have to procreate and mm. keep the, the world populated, you know, repopulated, right? And we try to find other people. Well, as we do that, these people that are being born into the world now, we're going, oh, yeah, dude, we had these phones. They were, like, nice with it. We, mm. You feel me? Like, we we don't know how to make them yet, so we're just telling them about it, and they're like, man, I don't know, Pops is crazy, you know what yeah. I mean? And then... Eventually you die, and they're trying to continue on, and now all the people that had the technology are dead, and these people have never seen it, but they're still trying to rebuild the civilization. Mm -hmm. And I think that's happened numerous times. Mm. I believe this is probably the furthest we've ever gotten. Yeah. Yeah, I think. I think if not, we probably would have found something, like more evidence of it. than Unless it was like so far back, we just haven't dug far enough into the planet to find it. Mm. Or looked in the right place. Yeah. Hmm. But you, but you'd think that we would have looked in the right place. But then again, with the Earth being able to be changed by getting hit by something catastrophic, I mean, the planet could have just looked different. You know, mm-hmm. like it could have had a completely different look, and then a comet hit it, and all of a sudden, that's going to change everything. You know, America might look like this shape now, and then a comet hit it, and it is sideways. Yeah. <laughs> you know, who knows? Uh, the tilt. 
the but anyway, that, that fingerprints of the gods, man, mm. is pretty dope. And I've been uh, checking that out. It's pretty interesting to think about. Yeah. Give it a ponder. Yeah, my head hurt. Give Already. it a ponder. All of them were mapping the stars, you know, which for obvious reasons, that's what you would do. If I would, I would think as a human, you know, you're sitting around, you're surviving day to day, you're drinking water, you're, t- you know, raising kids. You don't even know what you're doing, honestly. Mm-hmm. And you look up in the sky at night and it's like, ooh. What like what is this? It seems mm. like like magic. It's just dark and just bright shining stars. The moon. I was looking at the moon last night. It was just shining. Yeah. It was shining. It was only half of it, but it was shining. I mean, bright. I was like, dang man, the sun just reflecting off of it like that. Yeah. Just, it, like it looked like it was shining. Like it was glowing. Sometimes it does. I'm like. It's wild. Like, we don't really think about that. We're, like, in our life going, oh, man, man, work, man, work sucks, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean dude, I'm going to work out, you know, go to the gym, hang out, have some drinks. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, bro, like, yeah. look up in the sky. It's like, dude, it is wild, and we probably are having the best time we've ever had on this planet right now. Yeah. And uh, we need to keep the peace Keep the peace. Yeah, we need to keep the peace, man, because the powers that be will use us not being peaceful against us to uh, to uh, control us, you know? Keep the peace. I mean, I understand people need to be kept in check a little bit. You can't just have people murdering folks. and You know what I'm saying? Gun control. Get them. Well, I'm not. Hey, listen, I'm not. That's not me. That's not my position. I do think people should get psychological evaluations. You know? Mm. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's just the way I feel. But I'm like, dude, I'm just saying if you know somebody's a little, no guns for you. (laughs) You feel me? No guns for you. I would go that far. There may be something. I don't know. Like, there's always a new, you know, a new thing. Oh, if you'll never try to ban the knife when somebody stabs somebody, why are you trying to ban the gun? Uh, I say the same thing. Well, now, you the, need a well, now the new one. They should be, period. Any type of weapon like that. You should have, it should be on your ID Mm -hmm. and be on your driver's license. You took a test because, Mm -hmm. look, when you get grown, some people don't want to mess with guns, don't want to mess with knives. They're not interested in any of that. That's fine. They don't have to do anything. But if you are into those things, that's what you want to do, well, we just need to know that you're mature enough to handle Mm -hmm. these things. I don't know what the test needs to be, you know, but we want to make sure you're not crazy and, you know what I'm saying, you're mature enough, and then, boom, you go do your thing. But, I mean, even... And then they can send you an email once a year. So and- how how many psychological tests have you had to take over trying to do something? Have you had to take one before? Yeah, I have. Yeah. They and do it you, for jobs sometimes. Yeah, you know how to answer. That's true. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, technically, I don't think anybody on that test is going to be like, least, yes, I like to, I want to harm a lot of people. But that's what I'm work. saying. Some people are that crazy, though. <laughs> you feel me? Like, yeah, I want to knock somebody. I want to knock the. Hey, listen, knock, if you're smart enough. I want to knock some sense into somebody. Look, if you're smart enough to fool the test, then right. that's on us. You know? Because I'm not, that's what I'm, my, my point is, too, though, is that I don't know what the test would be. So I couldn't be like, oh, well, this will be the perfect setup. I just think that it's, it's all, a good. It every, would be a good everybody idea. Everybody with green eyes can't have a gun. That's nah, the problem. Nah, I think <laughs> though for sure though, maybe even if it's not everybody needs this psychological evaluation or whatever, but like if the people that have done things have for the most part been a little cray cray, and it's like why you know how do, why were they able to have the weapons you know what i'm saying like i feel like if you get an evaluation and then like there's somebody that sees somebody and is like hey man this person definitely is having some schizophrenia or this or that then they should have somewhere that they can report to mm. and it can be uh, evaluated you know what, what i'm saying well it's like uh, um, i don't know how to say it 
like homeless people. You know, most most of them they're homeless because they got a mental illness. Yeah. Or an addiction. Right. Right. Like those people probably don't need guns, right? But they True. also ain't looking for one. True. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they ain't thinking about going to nowhere. No. And and shooting up a mall, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they're more or less worried about eating. Yeah, and not only or that, man, fix, somebody right? can get a gun to them. Like, like the crazy person can go down there to the homeless dude and be like, look, I'll give you a thousand should. bucks to go get a pistol from yeah. the store. <laughs> I yeah. need it. Like it's like most of the time it's some it's some spoiled person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's uh so much of uh, the gun control as uh they're coming. I, <laughs> they're coming for your guns. They're coming. July, no, but July I definitely, 4th. I definitely them. think if somebody though has been treated as being like something, you know, a little crazy, there should be some type of monitoring going on, you know, that somebody could look into it and be like, "Hey, you know, maybe this person shouldn't I I think that's the only I think that's the the main problem is you, that nobody can find like who is it that shouldn't even, have the guns? Even if, even if, <laughs> even if you said they can't have one, they can still get one. They can still get one. Yeah, that's because you have so. For sure. Not, how do you stop it? Um. Well, you, well it's kind of like you know, it's kind of yeah. like it's kind of like, hey, everybody, we're tired of the, we're tired of abortion clinics, we're tired of single parents, we're tired of adoption, right? Yeah. Hey, everybody, don't have sex till you get married. I agree, well, man. Listen, well, I would straight up say, well, "Hey, man, can we?" You know, well, you know, that people are gonna have sex anyway, right? And yeah. they're not gonna get married. I would married. just ask. I so would you say, "Try other well, things." I wouldn't. Even, I'm not even worried about that part. My part is like, "Hey, man, how about we slow down reproduction for a bit, guys?" You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Let's dial it back. You know, and on cars too. Like I said before, like, dude, can we come out with a new model like every three years? Like, does it have to be every year? There's a new car. Like, dude, come on, man. Your car should be lasting longer than that. Yeah. You're having one every year. But people didn't buy a new one at every, that one just one year. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. The new one that's coming out now is for the guy that bought a car four years ago. I, yeah, I know, but look, check Why it out. come out next year's the guy who bought one three. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, though, because look, if a car came out in 2020 and it's still sitting there brand new and they don't come out with another one until this year, I can still go in there and buy the brand new one that's 2020. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's still the newest model, but you're not because you're going to pay even more for the, you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like, my thing is, is like, why is there a shortage on all these chips when we got way too many cars? Yeah. It's like, why, why are we not recycling? Yeah. You know, like, you know, iPhone and them are doing it. They're already getting the phones made dirt cheap and then uh, they're recycling the phones and getting the chips out of them and whatnot. Mm -hmm. We'll give you the new model, but you got to turn in your old one. Yeah. We'll actually buy it back from you. Yeah. It's like, why are the cars not doing that? Mm -hmm. and it's like, you could be doing the same thing. I, I would, I, I, I could only imagine. I got that new 20, 23, 26 model. Like, it's com those, that, those years combined into one. And then they can just change the two, up two, their three. model, too, man, to where they can actually take care of their vehicles, mm -hmm. you know, and service them because they won't be ma busy making a new car every year. Well, then but they don't want to do work? that because it's money. But then where are them people going to work? What people? They're going to get the guns and shoot up the mall. Nah, man, that's what depression. I'm saying. They will be there working. Instead of building the new cars, now they can start a program where they service the cars that they just built for three years. So those people would do, be doing the oil changes and tune-ups and brakes and everything, and you just include that as part of their the people's service. Like It's like 30 bucks extra on their thing a month. People will pay that, and it keeps it, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know all the exact numbers. <laughs> I'm just throwing out stuff here. But I know there's a way they could work it out. There's no sense in them having to make a new car every single year, for sure. There's no way we need that many cars. Yeah. There's cars out there right now. We can go drive up and down the street and find thousands of used cars right now. We can go find tens of thousands of brand new ones right now. Every lot I pass by every day is full of cars. Yeah, they didn't and, give them out for free. <laughs> nah, I ain't saying that. But people, I mean, but I'm just saying we have cars. Like, you can stop making them for like a year or two. 
like relax on it a bit and we can find something for those people to do like shift it shift around your efforts for a bit you know what i mean and do it more in a cycle and instead of a car like every make year. guns yeah, make guns <laughs> whatever man make ammo you know there's a, that's what i'm saying too like look think about it too what if one of these factories was set up where they could do all these multiple things because they were like oh man there's a shortage on ammo well we got plenty of cars or well, we're gonna make ammo today <laughs> You feel me? Mm -hmm. And I don't know how plausible that actually is because I understand that these places have to be set up to manufacture certain things. Yeah. But, you know, just future thinking, we could yeah. be a little smarter with the way we do things, but instead we want to bicker and fight about stupid stuff like stereotypes. And <laughs> You feel me? Yeah. yeah. I like stereotypes. Yeah. I mean, stereotypes are cool if they're true. Mo you know, a lot of them are true about people, each other, and, it's, you know, if somebody gets offended, then that just means they probably don't like themselves. They don't like mm. something about themselves. I mean, unless you're being mean to them. I, don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. You don't it should roll be stereotypes. Up just... it should be, I think people should be more curious. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Everybody wants to be somebody else. Not be somebody else, but... They want to technically. I get what you're saying because they are. Like, we, like all, the, we all want to be somebody else because we're all sitting here right now going, "This is cool," but I do have other things I want to do. I want to accomplish this or that. You know, it's just kind of like the old saying where uh, people who live in the hood want to get out of the hood, and the people who don't live in the hood want to go to the hood and hang out. Mm -hmm. Like, no, just be kind of curious. Yeah, that ain't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I think being, you know, a little curious is uh is definitely good. I think people need to <clears throat> travel around a bit, see some places. I wouldn't go nowhere crazy. You know, I'd love to go to places like Egypt and stuff and look at things like that and like Peru, but golly, man, it's just how nervous would you be? You nervous? Would you be nervous to go somewhere like that? What? <laughs> like third world country? Or Egypt? Um, Egypt, no. Egypt, no. Peru. Peru. Man, South America just sounds yeah. dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> South America sounds dangerous, man. Like, I, I would probably rather go to Africa. Like, South America, I'd be like, man, when I pull up, I need a chopper. You yeah. know, <laughs> like on deck. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather go to Africa. This is half America. I mean, some dudes just roll up in a, on a jeep. Man, South America, bro, they'll just roll up on you, bro. Roll up on you. I've heard stories, I mean, man. I'd rather people, take my chances with the lions. I've and, heard of people, man, like tribes. buying a house like somewhere in South America, and then the army just rolled up one day and was like, mm, what y'all doing here? And they're like, yeah, no, that's ours room. now. Yeah. They're like, what? And are like, yeah, get, leave, yeah. or you could die. Yeah. And then you, your house is gone, bro. Little house, you, you might have only paid $20,000 for it, but it's gone now. Mm -hmm. It don't belong to you no more. I'm like, dang. Yeah. See, you need guns there. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. feel me? You need guns yeah. there. Because the crazy people already got them. Yeah, the crazy people already got them. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah, crazy people already got them there. That's right. Oh, bro, and speaking of, like, uh, you know, Spain, you know, that's uh, highly Hispanic. Uh, the Spaniards, man, they like messed up a bunch of history for us. Yeah. You know that? Uh -huh. Well, I ain't going to say like just them in general, but there was the Spaniards that went on the, the conquistadors. Mm -hmm. uh, and they went like just, they were just wreaking havoc, man, through the world. Wherever they went, they were like destroying uh, these places and these people's places burn their books burn their books you know what i'm saying nothing so there will be like no history of all this stuff art anything mm. trying just to erase their history erase these people mm. yeah dude it's crazy and like finally like this dude i can't even pause pause dylan dylanardo dylanard something i can't remember but he uh I think he realized at one point in time, I think as he got older and started trying to, like, keep some of the stuff and was sending some people out to, like, find what information was left over from, like, old people, that like, places they had been that were going to die so they could try to... Because he realized it was a big mistake to be destroying all this history. Mm. Burn the ships. Man, that's wild. Burn mm. the ships. We're setting the ships fire, guys. This is our new home. Mm-hmm. We live here now. To leave here, we got to build new ships. 
That's kind of silly, right? Yeah. It's like, dude, we could build new ships. So what's the point in burning these? Yeah. So you can't leave right then? Yeah. It's like, I, I mean, I get it. But at the same time, like, wouldn't you just have some people on deck waiting on the boat with the cannons ready? That way, like, if we did have to retreat, we run to the boat. And then as the other armies run, that's we'll just start dumping cannons. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? Just doom, doom, doom. Man. I, I I think about that stuff sometimes too, man. Living back in those days, or any of those like super ancient times that you can't even imagine, like ten thousand years ago or something. See, I think what what was it? Uh, people used to live to be hundreds, yeah. right? Yeah. And then I mean, even that might have been how we was reading time too, though. You feel me? But then even some people, what they was only living to be like thirty. Yeah. Can you imagine? I don't know, man. It's it's uh it's extremely wild. There's a language out there now, man, that we don't even know what it is from some ancient civilization and we don't even, we ain't even deciphered it. And they found I don't know if it's the same one, but there's another one that uh it seems to be a language that's numbers. And they think it's like super intelligent because Ones and zeros, bro. Well, not only that, man, numbers always equal to the same things. You know what I mean? Like, if you do the math on something, like, if I tell you, oh, this is a planet. Mm -hmm. If I, you know, you might be like, you know, a planet, what's a planet? But if I, you know, or if I tell you, I shouldn't say that. I should say, like, if I say, hey, that planet, I'm going to say something stupid. It's 10 miles away, 10 light years away. Well, you don't know what that means, but the numbers, if the language that we're talking is in numbers, it'll be more understandable because mm -hmm. it's in a measurement. Something like that. I did a terrible job. Yeah. But that's okay. <laughs> a, a language with numbers, though, would... Uh, would like age as a number. This yeah. person's five or six. So, yeah, but so when yeah, you're that, that might number, be five or six. When you're that number, now you can go to school. Yeah, but what is their experience level? <laughs> yeah, you know what that. have you been through in five years? Have you just been playing with toys in there, or this one over here? Uh, daddy's been you can cussing mom out every look, day. Look, you can definitely tell the difference in between your kid. You can definitely tell the difference in between your kid when grandma's watched them. Or they've been to daycare for five years. All right, which one's better, daycare uh, or grandma? Well, I mean, either either one. Well, I mean, like, there's what the, do you think that you're going to see behavioral? Because, like, I feel like the daycare is probably going to be, uh, did, I would say, can, worse because they're having, like, all these kids. And then you can tell the difference in between your first kid, your middle kid, and your younger kid. Yeah, like the way you raise them? The way you raise them, but then... The oldest kid was the only kid for a while. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then he got pushed to the side because he oh, got yeah. another one. Yeah, another right? one came along, and he's like, dang, bro. And then you have another one, so you push the middle yeah, one to the, the side. Then like, you realize you've ignored the older one, <laughs> and so the middle one's just like <laughs> off doing their own thing. Yeah. And then they all leave the house, and then you're back on the little one again. Uh, and then they get it the worst. Yeah. Because you done been through it. You're like, I'm not putting up with none of that. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> or you let them get away with everything. Yeah, one, so yeah one or the other. Right, right, right. Oh, she's the baby. Yeah, yeah, it's true. That's what I was thinking about the grandma. Like, the grandma's babysitting. She might not be so disciplined. Grandma's tired of kids. Yeah. <laughs> get these things about her. Oh! I didn't like your little ass so since you was born. <laughs> now there's another one of you. Mm. Yeah, it's tough. That's tough. I need. I'd like to get one of these cameras, man. I need to buy another one. That one broke. Well, how's it broke now? The chip thing mm -hmm. still. Why don't you just take it somewhere, man? Take it to Best Buy Geek Squad. I know. I should. I forget. Just take it up there and at least find out. They'll probably fix it. I forget. I, I still thinking about buying another one. Uh. I, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get one. I'd like to have a nice one because, uh, oh, yeah, me and Weston started doing the Pokemon card mm -hmm. thing. And, uh, I'd like to have a really nice camera that's like for the zoom in on the cards, you know? Yeah. yeah. 
because I want I need it to be like right here, and I just like hold my hands in front of it. I actually have like a little thing, you know, that you use for your phone to set in. Yeah. I'm just setting the cards in it, and flipping them, and the camera I got's. It's okay, but it's got an auto focus on it too that you can't turn off. Yeah. So that part sucks. Cause mm. sometimes it'll just just sometimes though. For the most part it's good. But I'd like to have an upgraded one. Some new Pokemon cards came out today. New yeah. set. And uh well they had an early release like a week or so ago, but we didn't know. And then uh so they came out today, so I went and bought ten packs. We'll be doing those tonight. <clears throat> Hopefully we get something cool. Usually we do like some V stars and V maxes, some radiance, and I'm gonna start keeping up with them now. And the different books, I got sleeves on the way, so the uh, silver tempest ones was what we have the most of right now. Yeah. And uh, we've been hitting it pretty good, dude. Yeah. It's like four or five dollars for a pack, man. We don't had a few packs, man. With like, uh, uh, we've got multiple fifteen and twenty dollar cards. I don't need another hobby, man. I got my feelings hurt yesterday. Why? I was like, man, I think get rid of all my shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know, I've paid. 200 225 Yeah. I'm just asking really just for my money back and my taxes. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Just the taxes I paid on them. Maybe 25 bucks a shoe. Yeah. So I got 30 shoes. I just, 275 a piece. 20 of them's a stack. I'm more than a stack. Yeah. So, you know, 30 of them. It's 1100 275 a piece. You know, I'm sitting there. Doing the math, it's like seven thousand eight hundred and seventy-five dollars, something like that. Right? Yeah. I'm like, yep, I'm finna sell all of them today. Yeah. He hit this guy up, man. I go meet him. He's like, man, I don't even want to hurt your feelings. He's like, he's like, yeah, they might be, they might be worth that. He said, but for me to buy them and to make money off of them, he gotta sell them. I gotta sell them. Yeah. It's kind of like a pawn shop. Yeah. Right. They're not gonna give you exactly. If you yeah, if you got something that's worth a thousand bucks, a place where you can just put them on consignment, though. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's what I would. But do. But I didn't want to piece them out. I just wanted to go and drop them all off. Here. Nah, man, just piece them out, bro. You'll have some money coming in for a bit. So you feel me? Yeah. Like I would just you know maybe take like if there's multiple places, take like ten pair to three different places. But then he did the guy like I ended up becoming friends. Well, I guess I'm not friends with him, but. End up making a little connection with him, so. But he was like, "Hey, man, I don't even want to hurt your feelings." He's like, "I kind of like you just from the little short time we've been talking." He's like, "Man, sit on take." He's like, "If unless you need the money, but this is all I can offer you, and I don't want to disrespect you." And I was like, "Ah," I was like, "I don't need the money. I just want to get rid of them. Yeah, I, mean, I ain't hurting. I ain't yeah, like I got yeah, yeah. If I don't get rid of my shoes, I can't eat tomorrow. Yeah, type yeah, deal, yeah. right? Yeah." But he was like, man, man, you got, you got you got two options. He goes, man, you can sit on them for five years and still might not make nothing. Or you can wear them. Yeah. And then we're sitting there talking. He's like, no, wait. The Air Jordan movie's coming out soon. He said it might skyrocket after that. Just sit on them. I was like, oh, man, I forgot all about the little Air movies yeah, coming out. That's a good idea, man. Listen to him, man. Let that sit. And then I would get your eBay ready. And then I'd go ahead, bro, because like you can have stuff set up and uh, not for sale. And then I even and I would put them all on bids, bro. I put them on auctions, and you have like a certain amount that's like what you pay for them plus five dollar, ten dollar. You know what I mean? And then just put them on there. <laughs> and then, then even just to whatever, just to you know, not really break the ice, like with a. New relationship or whatever. I was like, shoot, man, let me get those over there in a size 10. Like, I came over here to sell all my shoes, but actually, <laughs> even though you ain't going to buy none of mine, man, let me buy, let those. me buy, let me get those right there. Yeah. And he was like, so now you're going to buy a pair? I was like, yeah, I don't think my wife will know that I brought back 31 pairs of shoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she might notice it when she looks down. Yeah. She might not, though. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, I was like, man, I was kind of disappointed. I was like, yeah. man, golly. But at least I learned something, though. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, man. If I was going to buy, if I could only sell, 
How, if you paid five dollars for that, mm-hmm. and it's worth five dollars, and I'm trying to sell it, and make money off of it, because I got yeah, you don't gotta need give it. Me four dollars. I, I mean, I, I got. I mean, I got at least give you two fifty, so yeah. I can double my money. Yeah. You know, it might not be worth my time just to make a dollar off of it. Hmm, well, I've had it for a while. I'll yeah. give it to you for two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Is it gonna come with some some spring water in it? Mm-hmm. That's some Culligan right here. Some Culligan water in there. Uh, mm. no, nah, I would do that for sure. I would listen. I would uh, listen to what dude said. Wait for that little movie, and I'd get the eBay ready, man. I start snapping pictures, man. Do it right too. Like come down here. Do you got lights? I should bring them lights and let you use them. I mean, I got one of them circle lights somewhere. And what you do, bro, is you take a cardboard box Mm -hmm. and you paint the inside of it a white, like a matte white. Mm -hmm. You know? And you set that there. And then you have, like, you drop around it with the little, uh, the lights. Not direct lights. You want the soft lights so it doesn't cause reflection. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But lights it up and just set it up to that one day and just... Turn them around, snap Cloud pictures. Cloud 8 Art Studios yeah. coming soon. And then take pictures, like really good pictures of all your sneakers. And then, uh, boom. Set up the the, uh, the eBay. Be in there. Mm. You'll sell them, man. Put them all on auction. Mm-hmm. Do them one at a time. Sell a pair a week. Yeah. You know? Like every week, put a new pair up on the block. Chop, chop. You could do a podcast about it. Mm hmm. Selling Jordans. Yeah. Hustling, hustling air. Yeah. Call it Selling hustling air. air. Selling air. Yeah. Selling air. There you go. That's a good idea. Somebody's going to steal that. Might want to bleep that out on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Selling air. Selling air. Uh, I don't remember what book it was that I was listening to, but they was talking about, like, you know how they say, oh, yeah, man, you know, you can go without food for this many days and water for only this many, so water is more important. Like, yeah, well, you can only go out with, without air for, like, a couple of minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? So air is the most important, mm-hmm. without a doubt. And then I think the next is keeping your blood in your body. That definitely <laughs> That would probably take you out quicker than the air. And then water. Yeah. Yes. Keep blood inside your body, air, and water. And then food. Is it sugar or salt? I think it's a little bit of both. I think you need a balance. You know what I mean? Let me tell you, man. Rebecca made me, or didn't make me, but she was like, hey, go to that place. So she could get that shot or whatever. Yeah. She's like, you want to do it too? And I was like. I really. She's like, well, you should just try it. I was like, all right, whatever. He tried it. Man, dude, I had the worst heartburn. I thought it was. I thought I was done. I thought this is this is what put me out. <laughs> you bro, took the shot, and now you gonna die. I'm bro, sorry, bro, because I know it's terrible. Bro, it's I terrible. had so my heartburn was so bad, like I couldn't sleep oh. because it was like, <gasps> That's like I'm trying to burp, like I can feel it. <laughs> The heart. I was like, it's the, it's the big one. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm laughing, bro, because that happens to me all the time, man. I have like indigestion going on, and immediately, man, my mind goes, oh, fuck, am I having a heart attack? You know what I'm saying? And so, like, I left, I left and went to work like one in the morning. I didn't even got to be there until six. Went like one in the morning. I was like, man, I think there's some Tums in the drawer. Get them. I probably ate like six of them. I was like, it's not working. Somebody said to take tums. It's not working. So I get to looking at the bottle, and I'm like, oh, these some Dollar General tums. Oh yeah, they ain't got nothing in them. And then I looked, and it's I was chalk. Then I looked, and I was like, oh, these expired 2018, bro. <laughs> and so I still you just eating candy at that point. <laughs> so still I just oh, so I'm like sitting up just uh, it's not feel like it's trapping me. <sighs> Man, I go buy some tums from like Thornton's. Straight. Man, I've been. A okay ever since. Ever since. <laughs> ever since. Well, did you? I, I thought I was. You said forget the shot though. Uh, or you I just did, started taking. Tums? I just did that one time. Okay. But I was like, I was like, bro. 
Yeah, I thought I was done for. I was like, this is it. This is it. Yeah, this is it. I be, I ain't gonna lie, I've been like preparing myself. Like, I tell myself, like, you know what? If it, cause I ha- it happens to me. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, if this is it, man, I just, I appreciate it. Man, I look <laughs> around, I'm like, man, life has been good. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna enjoy the time I got. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, th- I thought I was done. I was like, yo. This is it. I feel you, bro. I feel uh, you. I don't even want nobody to come to my funeral. Oh, <laughs> do not resuscitate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's uh. I was like, I'm going to go find me a tree. <laughs> like, I would have died under this tree right here. Mm. Let me go outside. That's tough, man. Bury me in the backyard. That's tough. It is wild, man, how, like, once somebody's out of there, like any of us, man, like, our mind, personality, thoughts, ideas, and beliefs are gone, bro. Like, you can't ask no questions no more. You can't Mm -hmm. learn nothing from this person or anything, you know? So it's it's pretty wild. They just turn your lights out. You're gone. Mm -hmm. And who knows, man? That's what I was thinking about yesterday. It had me tripping. I was like, dude, you know, like. I was like, okay, I was imagining I was, like, really old, right? And I'm like, you know, that'd be cool, you know, to be old, go out in your sleep. And I was like, but what if you knew? And they were like, man, you're just old and you're sick and we don't want, you know, you don't want to suffer. And they're like, man, we'll give you the little morphine or whatever. But then they hit you with the morphine and you feel it. Man, you kind of panic a little bit. Yeah. You're like, oh, shoot, this is it, man. <laughs> I'm going to fall asleep this time. I ain't waking back up. You yeah. feel me? And then it's like you can't even fight it. You just like, you know, like when you're tired at night mm-hmm. and you just, you know, like maybe you're watching TV or something, but you're falling asleep anyway. And it's like, but it's like one of them times you just, that's it. Mm-hmm. And it's like, dang, bro. <laughs> so I was like, then I got me thinking, I was like, dude, we just go to sleep every night. And we just lay down and go to sleep every night. Mm. Well. <laughs> I was like, it's, it's a. Turn the lights out. That's crazy, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Definitely crazy. You. Yeah. Well. Like, comment, thing. subscribe. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely check out some Wayne Beats music. Uh, and then uh, check out some Wayne Beats on YouTube too, man. We open up them uh, Pokemon cards. Uh, let me see what else we got. I mean, I was gonna say something else for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Titans in the draft. Mm. Well, what do you think they're gonna do? Mm. Let's do a little. I have no idea. Cap. No, yeah, me neither. Me neither. Uh, what would you do? Well, we had 11. I see. I, well, I'm not in the building. But if I was in the building, the first question I'd want to know is, is Malik good enough? Or is one of these quarterbacks that are going to be at 11 good enough? That would be my first question. Right. Uh, I think so too. Or depending on or, who's there, or if there's like a ball and wide receiver, yeah, or you know what I mean, you know, or there's a ball and wide receiver there, yeah, and next year, so and so from where next year definitely QB, you know, it just depends on who's, you know, is is the guy that's going to be there eleven, well, what are, you don't know what you're going to be at at the end of the season either. Man, but I mean, I'm, I'm. It's man, the Titans. The Titans haven't hit on a quarterback that they've drafted since Steve McNair. I mean, man, we would have man if old Vince Young went went crazy. He was. I mean, or Mario the one that got hurt. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Like (laughs) Vince Young though, man, he was gonna be good, man, but he just he couldn't handle the pressure. And it's like, dang, Mariota, that sucks. Mariota got hurt, started seeing ghosts. I mean, seeing ghosts, boy. You know, he so. should have went and paid like a to get mentored by Brady after that happened. But you know, it's like what? What do you do? You keep trying. Yeah, that's all it is. It's the game. Yeah, because you never know. 
There were and look. Here's the thing, though. I'm pretty sure we could have got. We didn't. Ky- couldn't we have got Kyler Murray? We could have gotten Pat Mahomes. That's what I'm saying. There's like all these different QBs. Like literally, we could have got. Mm-hmm. We could have got him. Hopefully, this new guy, man. Uh, we'll, man uh, that's just like the Titans drafted Kevin Dyson instead of Randy Moss. Mm. Dang. But I mean, that would have been and no then music miracle. Kevin Dyson music City Miracle. He's the He's one that came up short, though, right? Yeah, he, but he was a Music City Miracle guy, too. Randy Miles probably would have been a Music City Super Bowl. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Been up by, Super Bowl champions. We'd have been up by 30. Randy yeah. Miles would have been there. And then just, McNair, you feel me? Just imagine. McNair, and, Eddie George. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, Eddie George. Derek Mason and Randy Moss. And oh, Wachek. Who who was was Wachek the tight end? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, bro. Yeah, man. I mean, bro, the team we had, we only lost three games that one season. Mm-hmm. Went 13-3. Mm-hmm. Didn't do That's just because nobody knew what the, how nobody knew Chris Johnson was that fast. Yeah. That's all that was. Oh, uh, he would get gone and was gone. Yeah. Because we didn't have – I mean, we had – Vince got hurt and Kerry Collins was – quarterback and we yeah. had like Kenny Britt <laughs> and <laughs> that's right but Britt was all right though yeah uh yeah 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 dang that's throwback yeah I forget who else. was Nate Washington on the team then man yeah mm. we're in a tough spot again man I say we go ahead if somebody give us a high ticket value let R- Henry ride but I do suggest this Man, let Henry ride for a high ticket. Ain't hey, it? if if Hendon Hooker from the balls, the quarterback that got hurt, yeah, if he's just sitting there in the second round, I agree. Third round, yeah. If I agree. I, he'd probably go before that. I don't know, but if he's just sitting there in the third round, man, if you don't take him, yeah, you'd be dumb. He's definitely better than Malik. Mm-hmm. No doubt about it, man. Like just right now, like I wasn't drafting him at eleven. No, I don't think I would either. Because that person that you drafted at 11 needs to be a starter day one in whatever position, whether it's lineman, running back, yeah, receiver. We need, a, we need a center. Quarterback. And we need like an elite center. You know, No, um, Brewer is going to play center. Okay. Brewer's going to be all right. All right. Brewer just can't play guard or tackle because his arms are short. His arms are short yeah, like a get, T-Rex. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. That's wild. But all he needs to do is hike the ball and just kind of stand there for a minute, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's wild. And little short arms, though, man, people will be (laughs) breaking through. But maybe his arms will be a little stronger because they're shorter, stout. (sighs) Nubs. Little nubs. What up, nubs? Hike that ball, nubs. Yep. All right. Well. Also, yeah. Chop, chop. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Chop it up. Like, listen, follow. Yeah. Wayne Beats on Twitch as well. Yeah. You feel me? Twitch, please. Twitch, please. <laughs> yeah. We out.